Warning, this content is for entertainment and educational purposes only. I do not make any warranties to its accuracy, applicability, or completeness. The content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice. Always seek the advice of a qualified health provider. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of any information presented here. I disclaim all liability to any party for direct, indirect, implied, punitive, special, incidental, or other consequential damages arising directly or indirectly from its use. Hey guys, Paul here with another video. Today I'm going to talk about my experiences with Nandrolone. More specifically, NPP and DECA. Before we get into it, if you want to show your appreciation for my videos, please take the time to subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button. If you have questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer each and every one of them and potentially future one of them in a future Q&A. If you want to get in contact with me, my contact information is in the video description. I am at Paul K. Barnett on Instagram, and you can also email me at bigp3rd at gmail.com. All right, so my experience with Nandrolone. Uh, Nandrolone is one of my, well, it's, it is my favorite for size. It is one of my favorite um, anabolics overall. Um, uh, I, I, I've just had good experience with Nandrolone. It was one of the first ones I ever used. I've used it probably the most frequently um um out of all of the all of the anabolics that uh, i add to cy cycles um um you know so you Nandrolone comes in two different esters you have the decanate ester and the uh, propionate ester it drives me nuts when guys call um all Nandrolone <laughs> deca so remember that dudes two different two different esters propionate's the faster one um, DECA is the longer acting one, something like 15 days appropriate at last 48 hours. I will tell you, I prefer NPP over, um, DECA. Uh, the reason I do is in case you get in trouble, you have problems with side effects. You can get it out of your system quickly. Whereas DECA is going to be with you for a while, for a couple months. Um, so the side effects that I have run into uh, in the past with me um, is ED, erectile dysfunction. It's typically when I run high doses, when my doses exceed um, uh, the testosterone that I'm taking, um, I have had issues with erectile dysfunction. Um, I have also, um, uh, when, it, when I run it by itself, it doesn't seem to cause problems. I don't, um, I don't know the specifics behind it, but it probably has to do with estrogen modulation. Um, gyno issues. I have had issues with my gyno getting flared up when I'm taking Nandrolone before. Um, uh, uh, something to keep in mind is that Nandrolone does um, t seem to upregulate um, aromatase expression. I've seen studies that have shown that. Um, and I also believe that it antagonizes the estrogen receptor. So don't shoot me if I'm wrong about that. But um, that is why I theorize that you have problems when you run nandrolone and testosterone together, um, especially if your nandrolone doses exceed uh, what the testosterone is. You have an issue where there's a heavy conversion to uh, to a heavier conversion to uh, for, of testosterone to estrogen than you would normally have. Also, keep in mind that um, nandrolone um, has an affinity for. Uh, for um binding with the pro progesterone receptor too so that's another thing to keep in mind as well it is a synthetic synthetic progestin um other side effects sometimes i've had it make me anxious um generally only when i've run high doses uh that's been uncommon but I, i'll get a little bit of anxiety i know some guys cannot take it it causes them really bad anxiety they get really bad anxiety and um you know they just can't handle dandrolone so it's it, it i know it affects some people that way so just something to keep in mind um also blood pressure i've had issues with my blood pressure going up but i have noticed since i have been using an arb that seems to have fixed that um i believe the the blood pressure issues are from bloating um the arb i'm not going to go into it now through, through the pathways that the arb works um will prevent um bloating um as well uh, so one thing you want to do is to, you, you do want to keep an eye on your estrogen. So if you start having estrogen or progesterone like side effects with with nandrolone, you need you, you need to deal with that. Um, things that I find f that I like about nandrolone is makes my joints feel fantastic. Um, 
I have fantastic strength increases and also steady size increases when using Nandrolone. Nandrolone is just re really, really, really good for size uh, in my experience. Um, I know I've talked about it before in studies that show that, that pretty much all, all um, anabolics uh, uh, simulate muscle protein synthesis at similar rates. Um, I did see on, on the studies over in Angelo and does stand out a little bit above the others. It's, it's marginally, but it's, it does stand out a bit above the others as far as, um, as far as, um, muscle protein synthesis. I will say from my own personal experience, I get the most out of it. It, it seems like it, it could be in my head. Um, I, I, I think part of it is, is that it makes your joints feel really good. Um, and you can just lift harder when you're on Nandrolone. It doesn't seem to, like, whereas some others, some of the DHT derivatives seem to dry you out and make your joints creaky. I don't have that experience with, with Nandrolone. I'm nice and lubed up. Another thing that I've been playing with, too, uh, with Nandrolone recently um, is uh, when I'm running cycles of other things, it's just to run a very, very low dose of Nandrolone, maybe something like 100 to 150 milligrams per week. I'll add it to because uh, my joints are getting bad. I'm getting old. Um, I got a creaky shoulder, creaky elbow. My knees have both had, had multiple surgeries on them. Um, so just adding a little bit of Nandrolone. It could be in my head, but it does seem to make my joints feel a lot better. It, it doesn't take much. Like I said, 50 to 150 milligrams. Um, but Nandrolone is my favorite, more specifically NPP for adding size. If you have any questions, you disagree with what I'm saying, you think I'm a fucking idiot, whatever, put it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond to each and every one of them. Take care, guys.